Well, hello everybody, this is Dave Burkus for more insights from Burkonomics. Today's subject, mailing lists, email marketing, errors, oh my. Using old email lists for the first time is like eating really stale donuts. The taste is pretty bad and the side effects could be disastrous. So there are strict rules about spam accounts. Email companies like Constant Contact and MailChimp and many others all have strict rules that they follow to avoid being caught in their spam hell, with their servers blacklisted or worse. Each has automated software watching over you and your uploads of your lists, and each will block the use of any list they detect as suspicious. How many names can you add to your list then? If you have, for example, 4,000 names and you add 12,000 more at one time, that's a red flag. Most services will automatically block you when you do such a thing and ask you to fill out a form and even speak to their representative. They'll ask whether you got the list, where you got it, was it single or double opt-in, did you get the list from any third party, is the list tested with opt-ins less than one year old? Hmm. Now that last question is a daunting one for any of us. Which one of us has run any of our lists through the opt-in process each year with a special email to everyone on that list telling them that they must opt in again to continue receiving material from us? I'll bet the answer is none of us. And yet, that's what some of the mailing companies insist upon if they suspect that your list is not generated by you directly through opt-in signups. And how about the age of your list? How about those lists that you have that are over a year old that haven't been used lately? You can pay about a penny per name with the usual minimum of $100 to clean the list, and that's quite effective. The list cleaning service will separate your list into five groups. The first group, verified, good names and not a trap. The second group, unknown, may be good, but be careful. The third list, undeliverable, bounced. The fourth, unreachable, invalid domain. And the fifth, illegitimate a known trap or a monitoring domain or a black hole. That first group that we just talked about, that is verified, is the one to trust. However, many common portals like AOL and Yahoo and MSN do not return a response to an email ping when they test. And that means it goes into the second list no matter what. That means unknown. Maybe good, but be careful. And that's a large part of anyone's list. Your mailing list company must protect themselves and in doing so, protect you. A large number of bounces or many unsubscribes in a single mailing are red flags that will be caught by the mailing company system. Depending on the size of the list in relation to the total size of all of your lists with that mailing company, your account may be placed on hold while you complete one of those nasty forms with more detailed questions about where you got the names, if you got them yourself, and if you verified them with an opt-in during the last year. So how do you grow your lists? Well, how do you grow your lists if you purchase them from a service? The first answer is in the form of a question. Does the service guarantee that the names have been run through their verification filter in the last month or two? Remember classes one or two? If not, the bounce rate will be as much as 1% for every month in which they haven't done so. That amounts to a big number in a very small time. The second answer is to divide the list into bytes that are small and less than a third of the size of your present list in sum, and feed them in slowly through the system. Finally, register your domain for spam protection. Another protection with an incremental benefit is to register your domain with emailreg.org, emailreg, R-E-G, dot O-R-G, which will verify that your domain for mass emails is legitimate and not spam and then they'll provide a whitelist of legitimate email servers with their domains to reduce the chance of false positives with spam filtering. Many ISP spam filters then check for legitimacy for those domains. If these several tips interest you, it's time to delve much more deeply into the world of detail email marketing. There are lots of books available on the subject. Don't waste your email budget with ineffective communication or hidden offers. Do it right. Well, this is Dave Burkus for Insights from Burkonomics. I look forward to doing this again with you next time via video. See you then.